End screens are really important because the YouTube algorithm values videos that keep people on the platform for longer. It's really important to segue into another video topic at the end of your videos and then if you actually link the video that you segue to on your end screen, hopefully that will keep people on the YouTube platform longer, binge watch more of your videos, and then skyrocket your channel. Even though end screens are important, we don't actually want to waste a lot of time on designing them because they're only there for a second and to be honest the point is to get people to click away from it. So you don't need to waste a lot of time on making some really spectacular end screen. Over the years I have definitely wasted time on end screens. I've experimented with different like Canva templates and then whenever I actually put the template on the video and then add the video to YouTube I realize that it doesn't format correctly. There's some templates that have like little boxes on it for your videos but then the alignment might not work out. So I have come up with the most simple way to create an end screen for your video. My name's Grace. I am a social media manager and a video creator for small businesses. And I'm currently on a journey on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for a couple years, but I am taking it seriously for the first time in my life. If you want more tips on content creation or just want to follow along on my YouTube journey, I would love for you to subscribe. We're going to use Canva to create our end screen today. So you can use Canva for free and the features that we're using today are free. You just have to create an account at canva.com. Canva is really good for graphic design. You can also get um, like B-roll video footage and images, that kind of thing. Open Canva up and we're, I'm going to show you some examples of end screens now. So here I'm going to just search for YouTube end screen. So here's some examples of people's YouTube end screens. I've used stuff like this before. And like I said, it's actually always been too busy. And these squares or rectangles, I suppose they're not squares, Grace, they're rectangles. I find that these often aren't even sized correctly for the videos. And sometimes I don't know if I want to do a video or a playlist or two or whatever. So anyways, I have not found success with these types of end screens. You can try them out. Maybe you're going to like them. That's totally cool. But what I'm going to show you right now, I'm actually just going to click on this end screen here. We're going to customize this template, but I'm going to delete all of that stuff because it's way too busy. Instead, we're going to keep things really simple. So I'm going to pick a background color. Again, I want it to be pretty neutral. These are my colors that I have saved for my brand. I'm going to try using this one today. And then I'm going to add text. I'm going to say, thanks for watching. Change the font. So if you have a brand font, go ahead and click your brand font. I am going to use this one here. Make this bigger just by dragging it, or you can select all the text and resize it here. And then I'm going to change the color of this text again to some kind of brand color. I think the pink looks nice. Now we're going into effects right up here. And I'm going to use this curve option. And it's a little too curvy for me. I'm going to open it up a little bit like that. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to change the spacing of the letters a little bit, just a touch. I'm going to bring this up here. And I think this needs to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Thanks for watching. We're done already. And you're going to think like, Grace, this is way too simple. What are you thinking? Don't worry. This is going to work just fine because actually we're going to have our like little picture profile picture or whatever from YouTube to subscribe and we're going to have a video or a playlist here. So it's actually going to fill up this page nicely. You're going to press share, download, download. I'm going back into my video. So the video that I have completed that I want to add the end screen to. First of all, I'm going to put the downloaded end screen into my file for or my folder rather for my video. I'm putting the end screen into my folder for my video. I'm going to rename this end screen and then I'm going to drag and drop that into my editing program. Oh, 
Okay, so I don't want the sound. I didn't realize I put sound on here. This is important. I'm going to unlink the audio and the video, delete that audio because I don't want it. And then I'm putting the end screen right at the end of my video here. Now you can see here. Drag my music so that it goes to the very end. Export my video. Remember to save the title of your video, um, a keyword rich title that has to do with the title of your video. What I mean is save the video file the same as your the title YouTube title. So adding voice over to CapCut to your videos in CapCut. Save. Now we're going into YouTube. I'm in YouTube Studio here. Uploading my video. So there's a lot of stuff that I would need to fill in here. I actually am creating a separate video on um, the step-by-step -step what to do when you're uploading a video to YouTube. So I'm not gonna get into that here. I'm just gonna focus on the end screen. So we're going into video elements and then where it says add an end screen. So we're saying add. This is the end screen that I had from the latest video, but I'm not gonna click on that because normally this doesn't show up for everyone else. Normally it's these end screens here that show up as your options. So I'm going to pick on this one here, which is one playlist and one subscribe. So add this and see how it automatically adds in your end screen. We want these options to only show up once our end screen shows up. So I'm just dragging this timeline across to see where does the end screen show up. So it's down there. I'm going to now drag this subscribe all the way to here and the playlist all the way to here. So let's see if that's right. Video. Okay. Yeah. Good timing. Now I'm going to move my element so I think it looks a little more cute and desirable. And it actually looks like I created a more intricate scheme in um, Canva. So just drag this across and now you'll see here that it's saying the end screen elements cannot overlap. So I just got to move this guy up a little bit and move this here. So now it's just getting me to select the playlist. I am going to pick the creator journey. If you wanted to have a video instead of a playlist, you can select an element here, select video, and then we're going to drag that right here. And we're going to select best for viewer. We're just going to trust YouTube on this process. Unless you're actually picking a specific video, then you could choose that. No, we're going to click best for viewer. Drag this across. And now you're thinking, well, now we've got too many. So I'm going to delete the playlist element. So you can have a playlist or a video. I mean, if you wanted to, you can play around with this design too. If you didn't want the subscribe button, you could put one there, or we can change this design, put best for viewer, put myself in the center for subscribing, and then we can add a playlist. And see, we'll put that right there. So it's really up to you. Um, well, let's fix this. So it's really up to you what elements you want to include. The main point that I'm trying to make here is that the end screen that you add to your finished edited video within your editing platform is as simple as possible. So you can focus on adding the elements within YouTube. You don't want your end screen, the information that's on your end screen to get in the way of the elements on YouTube. You could change the text instead of saying thanks for watching, you could add, you could have please subscribe or you can have any kind of text that you want. The main point is try to keep it simple so you can focus on the actual clickable elements within YouTube. Face, press save. And I'm just going, I'm not gonna post this video right now, save that as a draft and we're all done. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions at all. Keep an eye out for my end screen where I'm going to share another video about content creation tips that hopefully you'll be interested in. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.